Well, I knew I was going to make this type of video at some point in my YouTube career, but just not so early on. So let's just let's just get it over with. Hey, guys, hope you're having an awesome Friday. My name is Billy C. If you're new to the channel, you're like, what is this guy talking about? Well, I'm about to give everyone an apology. And if you are returning and you're familiar with the channel, well, welcome back. So I made a video at the beginning of June talking about how I was going to go over a new betting strategy. I had seen this out there before. I really thought that there was going to be some opportunities for me. I wanted to find out what was going on, seeing other people had success, and I naturally got curious. And I also thought it would be a great opportunity to share some content with you guys so that you could follow along. But 10 days in, I got cold feet, did terrible, and then made this video saying, hey, uh, we're going to go back to my old betting strategy because I've been doing this now, plus EV betting with Odds GM for going on month eight. I've had seven straight profitable months. Why would I switch it up? Like, I'm just going to go back to my old betting strategy. I know it works. It's made me money. But then over the last couple of days, I was upset at myself. Why make a video telling you guys that I'm going to go with this strategy and not actually see it through and only just get jump out of the water when it's 10 days in? I just wasn't very happy with myself. And as you can see, I'm just like everybody else, very human, right? Going back and forth, trying to figure things out, you know, not having the best month. Like, hmm, well, what should I do here? So here's what we're going to do. So I'm on Odds Jam right now, right? I just went up to my name down here, went to user account, went over to the bankroll settings, right? And we are going to go back to the strategy that I employed at the beginning of the month, and I'm going to see this through. The difference is, is that I had the bankroll set at my actual bankroll, which was $25,000. And I was just betting too much on a strategy that I wasn't familiar with. And I've talked about this before in previous videos. You know, I talk about a lot how you should just bet what you're comfortable betting um, and maybe not hitting the gas too fast. And I hit the gas too fast. So for the rest of this month and for July and most of August, because I see July and August and now as kind of the off season of betting, there's, you know, MLBs here. We got a little UFC, a little bit of tennis, but you know, this is the time where I want to tinker and workshop with my strategy because when comes September and NFL and college football comes around and then we hit October with NBA, NHL, college basketball, that is all systems go. You want to be ready to roll. So that's why I'm kind of tinkering this time of the year. So we're going to go to $15,000 in a 0.3 Kelly multiplier. Now, the most conservative approach would be 0.25. More aggressive would be 0.5. We're going to go 0.3, so just slightly above conservative. And I want you guys to stick around in the end of this video because I got a new wrinkle added to my bet tracker, which I think is going to be super insightful, and you guys are really going to like it. So we're on the positive EV tool. I'm going to go over the filters that I have set so you guys know exactly what I'm doing. The percentage, we're going to keep minimum percentage at 1%. So 1% or higher, we're going to bet on. Next up, we're going to head over to minimum max odds. Okay, we're going to set this at minus 250 to plus 250, really wide range. But we're not going to see many of those plays because the market width, I'm going to keep it to 35 cents. I would recommend keeping everything under 40 cents. Um, but talking to some different people, I'm going to try 35 for right now. It's just probably going to exclude a few different player prop bets because you're never going to see a money line or a spread or an over under play be really above 25 cents. This is more geared towards player prop bets because player prop bets live in that 20 cent to 40 cent or above range. And lastly, I am not going to deviate from the recommended bet size. Whatever it says, I'm going to bet. The only caveat here, guys, is, you know, I'm very limited on a lot of books of player prop bets. So it's going to be difficult to like right here, Whit Merrifield over one and a half bases. I Bovada won't let me bet that anymore. So I, I'll just bet whatever I can bet on the player prop bets um, with whatever books can really Caesars win bet and fliff. I can bet whatever I want to on those books. The rest of the books, it's really difficult for me to get down the recommended bet size. Now, I want to share with you my personal bet tracker, which, by the way, link in the description, absolutely free. If you want it, grab a copy for yourself. I added a new tab that I am really excited about. It's going to be a little bit more work, but I want to share with you what it is. And so you guys kind of know what's going on, because as we continue to go on this year, I think it's just going to be very powerful. It's going to provide some awesome information. And also, I just want to apologize to you guys because I didn't keep my word back in my video back on the 1st of June, right? I told you guys I was going to do a strategy and I was going to stick with it. And then I got cold feet 10 days in. So I had to go back, readjust, 
lower everything. I'm not going to be betting as much as I was probably in the past couple of months, but that's okay because I want to see this thing through and I want to see what happens. And if I do have losing days, it's not going to be as bad as it's been the last like two weeks or so because I'm betting a lot less. And I can really then give a good barometer of what this strategy looks like. So I'm very sorry that I've been so back and forth, right? And I'm going to stick with something because I want to do this for you guys. I want you to see if you're out there, if you're interested in Odds Jam, I want to be able to be that guinea pig for you guys so that you can see, oh, okay, so this is what's going on. And here's how he's doing it. And the last thing I'll say is if anyone's using my old betting strategy, right, my bread and butter that I've been doing so well with, you know, use what I'm about to tell, show you guys. Just, just keep an eye on it. Be like, oh, okay, Billy, I see what you're doing there. Maybe I'll try that. You know, or maybe you have tried it and my old betting strategy works. Really, I just want to give you guys different options so that you can choose for yourself. Kind of choose your own adventure, right? So um, that's what we're doing here. So, you know, you're familiar with this. If you've been to the channel before, this is my personal bet tracker. As you can see, I have 17 bets in right now. We're going to get, I have a couple more hours before baseball really gets started today. And I've only bet about $940, whereas, you know, yesterday I had 33 bets. And I had almost five grand. So um, I'm probably going to be living into that maybe $1,500 to $2,500 range per day betting, which is a lot less than what I have been doing. But that's OK, because I want to go through this in June. And unless it gets really bad, you know, through June again, uh, we'll stick with this in July as well. Here's the new tab that I'm going to unveil to you guys. So as you guys know, I have an EV breakdown tab that's in the bet tracker link in the description. Uh, that kind of goes through the EV percentage plays, but we're going to do something slightly different. Now, it's going to be a little bit more work, but this is a high level overview of I am going to be placing all my bets in terms of my odds, the number of bets I place, how much, how many we've won, how many we've lost, and then the profit, the profit and loss based off of these odds, right? Um, so this is kind of the zoomed out view. So I have it by 25 cents. For each one, right? I'm doing plus 250 to minus 250. So here's what we have. Now, this is the more detailed view where I go by 10 cents or in some cases, nine cents, right? So plus 240 to plus 250. I'm going to track all the bets that I have, win, loss, profit, and loss, right? And we're going to go all the way down. As you can see, plus 170, plus 179, you know, the plus 100s to minus 109s, minus 130s, all the way to minus 250. Now, what I will do at some point, it's going to take a little time, but I can extract all my bets this year for 2023 from Odds Jam in an Excel spreadsheet. And I'm going to try to plug in all the numbers from those, from what I've bet so far this year into this breakdown right here so that we can already have some data. But I think this is going to be super helpful and super insightful into giving you guys just an idea. You know, when we talk about, you know, me betting these plus 140s, plus 150s, plus 190s, plus 225s, you know, there's not going to be as many bets, but we can really start to get a gauge of how well they're actually doing for me. And if nothing else, you can use me, the AKA the guinea pig, as, um, you know, your litmus test to see, okay, here's how Billy's doing with these bets. Maybe I should start dabbling, you know. You see a lot of guys out there that are doing really successful um, in odds jam, right? They're doing really successful, but you see maybe their win loss, right? They maybe won like 300 bets this month. They've lost like 500 and you're like, how can that be? Well, that's because they're betting on plus 200s, plus 225s. If that doesn't make sense to you, then we, that's no problem. We just need to back it, take a step back and kind of understand how odds work and how you're getting paid out, um, and win percentage tied to odds. But, um, you know, if there's something that I want to be guys is I, I want to try to be as detailed and transparent with you as humanly possible. And so that you can follow my journey because I didn't have anyone out there on YouTube. At least I couldn't find that was going through and breaking all this information down to give me some type of foundation or confidence, right? I believe in odds jam. I think it's going to make everyone a lot of money. Um, it can make people a little bit of money or a decent amount of money depends on you. But I at least want to show you guys very detailed of why this is, why we should maybe bet plus 190s. Maybe we shouldn't. But the more, as, the, as we move further along month after month after month, and the more the data compiles, that's really what's going to help us out, right? Like if I showed you 20 bets at plus 230, it might not be that attractive. And I'll show you real quick right here. One more thing. 
so when I went away from you guys for those 11 days and was like, I'm going back to my old betting strategy, I did expand my parameters to plus 130 to plus 160, right? And so what we're going to do here, you know, this is a great example of a small sample size. I've only placed 37 bets. Um, you see I've won 18, lost 19, but I've made almost $960 off of this. But this is just still too small of a sample size. I need to get down another couple hundred bets, right? So, you know, it could be the reverse where we're, we've won five and lost 32 and it looks terrible. And you're like, I'm never going to bet plus 131 to plus 160. Well, we need a larger sample size. You know, it's the law average of big numbers. Right. So um, that's that's one. That's really one other thing that's really important. Last thing I will mention, guys. When I'm tracking these bets, you know, I would normally tell you I go off the no vig fair odds, and I can't do that for all my plays. You know, when I'm when I'm pulling my my odds off my bet tracker, let me just show you. So basically, every night I I log on and I go through all my plays, my EV breakdown, right? But I'm not going to know what the no vig fair odds is. You know, when I'm doing these odds breakdowns, you know. So we're just going to be, I'm going to be placing, putting in the bets in and what category they fall in based off of the odds that I got on the bet at the time that I placed the wager. So if you're really following along here with me, it's just going to be, you know, like this tennis match today, I won, this bet's going to fall in the plus 120 category. All right. I don't know. Obviously the no big fair odds was, was probably like plus 115 or plus 110 because we got a better price at plus 120, but I don't know that. So we're going to just be going off of whatever odds I, I got the bets at. And also, as you can see here, um, which is going to be a future video down the road, big shout out to Jordan at Odds Jam, my man, uh, showed me the low holds tool and how he finds plays off the low holds tool. And there's a, a lot of value to be had using this tool just to find plays. So we're going to be going in there. And, you know, obviously, you know, I'm not going to be able to figure out uh, the, the no big fair odds. I can't at the time, but it's constantly changing. So we're just going to go off the off. That's the video guys. I am very sorry that I kind of got cold feet after 10 days and left and was like, well, screw that strategy. We're back on it. We're going to be back on it for possibly the next couple of months. Who knows? This could be the last strategy I ever use. Um, but I want you guys to know, I'm very sorry that I kind of switched things up. It wasn't right. I didn't give, didn't stay true to my word. So that's what we're going to be doing here. Um, and, you know, you guys want to come back and stick around, smash that thumbs up button. If you like this, leave a comment, you know, if you have, you know, some, anything to share with me as far as hey, I like this, I don't like this, you know, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification. And last thing is always, if you're thinking about signing up for Oz Jam, use my promo code Billy20. It's going to save you 20% off as long as you use Oz Jam, right? And it helps me out a lot because an Oz Jam knows that I sent you there, right? You're watching my stuff. They know, hey, Billy's pushing these people. So it helps me out tremendously. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. You have an awesome Friday. We'll catch you in the next video.